Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Depth Tech, and this is their DS300 DL, or Dual Lens Professional Industrial Endoscope. And I've reviewed some products from Depth Tech in the past, so I am pretty sure that this is going to be a top quality again from Depth Tech. So if you're looking for an, an endoscope, stay tuned, and we'll get into this right now. I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you get. You get everything packed nicely in a uh, semi-rigid uh, zipper case for carrying and storage. Uh, something that Depths Tech does really great is they give you uh, all the accessories you could possibly need to basically just take this out on whatever job you're going to go on uh, or wherever you need to take it. Uh, and in between uses, you can always use this for storage, which is always nice as well. Uh, overall, just again, top notch from Depths Tech. Uh, every product uh, in the past that I've reviewed has been just great. So let's take a look. You've got a zipper uh, portion in the back here, a little pocket that's got a zipper on it. And you can put other things in there if you want to. They, they give you uh, some literature in here, and we'll go over all the other things that they give you as well. But, uh, you know, if you're taking this out to a job and you need to throw in extra memory cards or uh, whatever else you may be taking with you, uh, you've got that. So they do give you a charge cable. It's a standard USB to micro USB charge cable for recharging the unit. It takes about 30 uh, to 60 minutes to fully recharge. If it's totally dead, it's going to take a little over 60 minutes, but you'll get about four hours of runtime on this. They do give you some literature here as well, a uh, full user guide for the DS300 in multiple languages. It's well laid out, uh, and the print is big enough to read, uh, so I don't have any problems with that. Hold on to it in case there's anything in this review that I miss. Uh, you can refer to your user manual. You do get a uh, semi-rigid cable here, and with this one, it's 50 feet of IP67 waterproofing. Now you do have the probe here that has dual lenses on it and that probe a diameter is a 7.9 millimeters in case you do need to know. Uh, it is uh, small enough to get into places uh, but maybe you're looking for something a little smaller. So I did want to uh, mention that it's 7.9 millimeters in diameter. You do get some attachments as well and this is to add on to uh, the uh, probe itself. Uh, you do get a reset uh, tool there. You also get a magnetic tool. Uh, so if you're uh, looking for something in a pipe like a nut or a bolt and you want to grab it, you can with that pretty strong magnet there and a nice hook as well for grabbing things uh, from hard to reach places. Okay, so let's take a look at the main unit. You've got a 4.3 inch TFT LCD display at 1080p resolution. On the bottom under this flap here, you're going to have a spot for your um, micro SD cards, and that micro SD card will hold uh, thousands of pictures. Uh, and the one that comes pre installed is 32 gigabytes, uh, so you're not going to have any problems there. But if you do need to hot swap them with other cards, you can do that as well. Uh, to uh, you know, if you need to save a bunch of stuff uh, and you don't want to overwrite it, you can always do that. You do have a reset hole that will reset everything to factory settings, and you do have that uh, charge port, which is that micro USB charge port. Again, it'll take about an hour or a little bit over an hour to fully charge it, and you'll get about four hours of battery life. Now I like that they've got a nice grip here. All your buttons are right in the place that you need them. And of course you can uh, power it on with the power button, orange power button at the bottom, which is what we'll do now so that we can take a look at exactly what we're looking at here. Now, right off the bat, your front camera or uh, will be have a focal range of uh, three to eight centimeters. Uh, the side camera will have uh, one of two to six centimeters. So you have an idea of what your focal range is there as well. Uh, now, I can either take pictures or movies by uh, holding the movie or picture button at the top. 
And then we can flip the uh, image as well, 180 degrees, you can rotate that. Now, if you hold that down, it will change modes, and I'll do that a little bit later in the video here, but I do wanna go over the menu and all the things that you get with that as well. So overall, you can see it's a very nice, clean, crisp, clear picture here. So if you have uh, a project that you're working on and you need to uh, get a, a nice, a clean, and clear picture, you can. Now, another a really cool thing about this after we go over all the menu functions is this also has split green screen view as well to allow you to view both cameras at the same time. Now you can see once we go into the menu, you have your resolution settings, either 1080p or 720p. You do have all your languages here that are supported and there are a ton of them. Uh, we can go down through them with the plus and minus buttons uh, and that's how you navigate through the menu itself. You do have a power auto power off function here, either off 15 or 30 minutes in case you uh, want to preserve battery life and you set it down and forget to turn it off. Uh, you probably set it for like 15 minutes would probably be good. Now you can also format your uh, SD card slot right here and reset the system to a factory defaults uh, right here. You also have your time and date settings uh, so that you can add those if you wish to have those updated. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at that front camera and uh, we're going to take some still pictures here, show you exactly how they come up, how you can access those as well. Uh, just by clicking the button on the upper right hand corner uh, that looks like a camera, I can take still pictures. Uh, and then what I can do with that is go in with the OK button, which also has that pause play button next to it. And then I can review those pictures. So I can take a few pictures here uh, and then we can go in to this uh, OK button will hold it down and now I'm in the gallery and I can just cycle through my pictures with the uh, plus and minus so I can go through and check out any pictures that I need to check out. Uh, same thing goes for video as well. If I hold that down, I will start a video and then I'll be able to go back and play that uh, as I go. So uh, very, it works out really, really easily uh, to go in and uh, review your work in real time uh, to see where you're at. So if you need to capture something, you can certainly do that very easily. Uh, now you do have some LEDs here as well. Uh, and there are six LEDs on the main camera and we can adjust those as you can see with the uh, plus and minus buttons. They have a few different uh, settings here as well. Uh, you do get, I, I believe it is three modes here. So let's go up and down just to double check. Uh, you get three brightness modes and I think you can turn it all the way off as well too by going all the way to the left, there we go. And you do get a kind of a low, medium and high for your LEDs. So that's really nice. You can also adjust the side camera uh, as well. That has LEDs as well, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, so overall, pretty, pretty nice uh, for being able to light up darker areas uh, like inside pipes or car engines or whatever you're going to be working on. Now switching over uh, to the other camera is uh, pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is uh, you are going to want to uh, use the uh, 180 degree rotating button there. And we'll get to that in just a second. Right now I'm recording a quick video uh, and I will stop that and go and view it as well. Uh, so we've got that uh, availability, but let's switch over here. And you can see now I'm switched to the side camera. So if we want to uh, take a picture of something on the side, uh, we can do that as well. And of course you can adjust the LEDs on the side the same way that you adjusted them on the main camera. So you've got the ability to look at the side cameras. We'll take a picture of that. You can see that you can get in nice and close with a lot of detail there. So let's get, get in there, take a look at that uh, little band uh, Velcro strap there. And then I can go in by holding down the OK and I can review that picture. And you can see that it comes out really, really nice in 1080p. Overall, just a great job by Depths Tech. Okay, so the last mode I want to talk about, if you keep cycling through, is going to be your split screen view. And the split screen view is great because it allows you to look at the front camera and the side camera side by side. You can take video or still shots with this split view as well. So if you need to see two areas of whatever you're working on at the same time, you can of course do that with this mode. So this is something that when I reviewed on Depths Tech, one of their products last time, 
didn't have that split screen view and I really do appreciate having that uh, especially saving time from switching back and forth from the front camera to the side camera. Now I can view both at the same time. So overall, just an awesome extra added bonus uh, that Depth Tech has added into this model. Okay, so that's my review of the Depth Tech DS300DL, which is the dual lens professional industrial endoscope from Depth Tech. And I think they've done an excellent job. I love the split screen view on this. I like the unit and how compact it is and easy to hold and easy to navigate. Uh, and overall, just uh, the uh, quality of the screen, even though it's a TFT screen, it still looks crisp and sharp in 1080p, so they've done a good job there. Uh, this one comes with 15 meters or 50 feet of cable. Now they also offer the DS300 DL in models that have a uh, smaller cable sizes so if you do need that you can check those out as well i'll have a link to this uh to amazon where you can purchase this it's currently retailing for about 129 dollars and i'll have that below for you to check out this was luke from galaxy tech review if you have any questions or comments about this item please leave them in the comment section below i'll get back to you as soon as possible remember to like and if you guys haven't subscribed yet please do so because that always helps me out and i'll check you guys out on the next video